Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Friday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome today isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwelling welcome this afternoon god bless you rich let's give him a big hand today <laughs> hallelujah praise god sincerely from my heart i raise that very special blessing upon your life and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah praise god today i pray that god i i let me break it down i pray that god will bless your homes God will bless your child. He will bless your children. He will bless you on the job, give you favor, promotion on the job. He will bless your business. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give a lot of big hands to him for his blessings, for his awesome kindness, for his love, his grace, his mercy, and his great concern towards us this day, my friend and beloved I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today my friends every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blights bullism what a case may be i break every chain i reverse every spirit of witchcraft obia and demonic forces and evil that comes to destroy your life i break it in the name of jesus whom the son set free is free indeed you are free today in jesus name let's give him a big hand today yes whom the son set free is free indeed jesus also said in his words Healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes and heal, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand today for the healing, for the healing and the blessing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God today. Father, I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit as I minister your words today. Your words will go forth with dulamus and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed. Many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. If you have your Bibles today, let us turn to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 to 8. Eteric mentioned word today in this scripture is very, very much important, beloved and friends. It mentioned the word revealed. Reveal holds significant emphasis 
particularly in the context this morning yes of the antichrist's reception is not in in in, in action in identical it serves as a deliberate emphasis by the authors drawn to the reader attention to a pivotal technological concept the passage underscores the notion of a profound and defining moment in time beloved and a great unveiling unveiling or revelation this is not just any any revelation it is specifically tied to the emergence of the Antichrist there is a figure of pivotal importance my friends in Christian theology the repeated use of rose of reveal in this context suggests this day that the identity and actions of the Antichrist will not remain hidden yes or obscure they will be brought into open hallelujah clearly discernible yes to those who are witness to these events the anticipation of this revealing my friends also serves to caution and prepare the reader highlighting the need for vigilance discernment and a strong grounding in faith during these times of deception deception and uh, astrophosophy thus the reception of reveal in this passage this day it is a powerful tool powerful tool emphasizing the momentous nature of the events being described and their profound implications for both contemporary and future readers of the scripture beloved and friends second thessalonians this day chapter 2 verse 38 let no man deceive you by any means for the day shall not come the day shall not come except they be a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed beloved and friends the son of perdition perdition the opposite and exalted himself above that is what is called god or that is worship my friends so that he as god seated in the temple of god himself yes showing himself that he is god yes remember he we not that when i saw yet with you i told you these things he said and now we know that withhold it that he might be revealed in this time for the mystery of iniquity do it already work only my friends he who now let let will be let until he be taken out of the way beloved and friends and then shall the wicked be revealed the wicked shall be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy the brightness of his countenance the brightness of his coming the first mention of reveal refers to the appearance or coming into public view of the man of sin beloved and friends also known as the son the son of perdition yes this figure is no one other than, than the antichrist himself who appears and exalts himself above all that is called god or worship even sitting in the temple of god showing himself beloved and friends as god yes the second mention indicates a specific timing for this revelation it amplifies that there is a predominant time that when this individual will be revealed suggesting a divine or prophetic timetable the final mention of reveal my friends parting to that wicked that wicked being exposed or make known to this seems to coincide coincide with a time of judgment it is also followed by description of the lord's consuming his entity with the spirit of his mouth and destroying him with the greatness of his coming <coughs> through all the years my friends there have been men whom I have seen within my time, time, lifetime that made me think to myself privately, will this be, be the Antichrist? Could, could this be him? Very every once in a while a man appears in prevalence and if, if you listen to what they say and believe and if you show the Bible, 
It is easy to draw the conclusion that this person could be the Antichrist. Yes, my friends, even when I look into the, what they believe in, it is clear to see that the spirit of the Antichrist is working in them. I force John 4 verse 3 tells us, uh, introduces us the concept of the spirit uh, of the Antichrist. Uh, their anti the Antichrist does not necessarily refer to a single individual, but to the spirit or attitude that denies Christ's nature and mission. Beloved and friends, all of these men whom I have privately questioned whether they could be the Antichrist or deny who Christ is and his nature. I won't name names or point out specific individuals today. The truth is no one currently on this earth knows who the Antichrist is, but the Bible tells us that when he arrives, he will be revealed. He will be revealed. It will be obvious to those who know the Bible who, who he is. Yes, the Antichrist, the the man is coming but the Bible is very clear in 1st John chapter 4 verse 3 and every spirit that confesses that not Jesus Christ is coming the flesh and it is not of God Almighty and such is the spirit my friends of Antichrist whereof we have heard that it should come it should come even now already already that is in the world yes in the world the world we live in is, is fundamentally an antichrist world the nation we live in is fundamentally antichrist nation it is the world that denies that jesus christ has come in the flesh it is the world that is actively against the Lord Jesus Christ. And can you think of anything more wicked and evil than to be against the Lord Jesus Christ himself? Can you think this day of anything more depraved or unholy than to be against the Lord Jesus Christ? Beloved, for everything, everything Jesus Christ did was for the benefit of others. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind. Yes, made the lame walk and cure a woman with the, with the issue of blood and died the, the, died the death of deaths for all mankind. Yet there are those who are actively against the Lord today, Jesus Christ. There are institutions which hate him and actively attempt to remove anything to do with him or without of society that is in the and that is the antichrist spirit at work my friends there are groups in this nation institutions which are opposed to anything to do with the lord jesus christ i grew up at a time when in our public schools we played before classes but this practice has been erased I grew up up during a time where there was a Bible in hotel rooms. You are living in an antichrist age society. And the Apostle John spoke about the antichrist and his spirit 2,000 years ago. Another significant manifestation of the spirit of the antichrist, beloved, is, is, is the growing culture, hostility towards traditional Christians. Traditional Christian values, particularly in the realm of sexual immorality, the family structure, and the sanity of life, the sanity of life, this shift in evidence, in the increasing acceptance and normalization of behaviors and lifestyle that are biblically considered immoral by Christian standards. If you are a follower of Christ today, your life should not be governed by what society deems as acceptable my friends are unacceptable your life should be governed by social norms nor cultural nor cultural norms today your life needs to be dictated by biblical standards for instance today the broader social acceptance or parental sex adultery and all our 
forms of sexual immorality can be seen as a direct challenge, direct challenge to Christian teachings on sexual morality. God created marriage between Adam and Eve. God created sex for it to take place within the confines of a marriage. Those, these are the teachings of Jesus Christ. But what we are seeing is a world, a world shifting away further and further from Christ. Jesus, yeah, the secularization of society is another key accept, aspect of this uh, phenomenon. His uh, secularization in character is characterized by a diminishing regard for Christian values and increased emphasis on secular principles principles in government education and public life beloved and friends the removal of christian symbols and practices from forms spaces and institutions symbolizes this shift luke luke chapter 22 verse 3 tells us then entered satan into judas a surname is carried being of the number of 12 beloved and friends the narrative today of judas is is not of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ is a profound illustration of how individuals can become susceptible to malevolent spiritual influence or highlight as highlighted in Luke Luke chapter 3 222 verse 3 Satan entered into Judah, Judas the serpent himself the adversary the accuser of the brethren enter into Judas this biblical account serves as a stark reminder that evil spirits can indeed infiltrate human hearts and minds, especially in a world increase distance from Christ's values and teachings today. The spirit of the Antichrist, my friends, as delineated in the Bible, particularly in 1 John chapter 4, for she is not limited to a future singular adversary of of Christ. Rather, today it is encompassed as a passive spirit or attitude that opposes and denies Christ's true nature and mission. My friends, this spirit is not just a prophecy about the end times. It has been active since the earliest days of the church. The Bible emphasizes that many many antichrists already exist in the world signifying a broader application for the term of encompass any forces or individual that stands in opposition to Jesus Christ my friends there are people on this earth right now right now who are energized by the spirit of the antichrist can't you see it I am sure you can see it today there are people who whose very being are guided and guided and led by the spirit of the Antichrist and in all honesty today I've never seen the spirit of the Antichrist become more active than within the last two months in this year 2023 it's almost as if the spirit of the Antichrist has become embodied like never never before the same Christ that loves them my friends the same Christ Christ that died for them, the same Christ who holds their lives in, the, in his hands, yet they oppose him and all of this goodness, all of his goodness, this opposition manifests in various forms. Yes, my friends, institutionalization, rejection of Christ, of Christian belief or to culture movements that directly contradict biblical principles in the coming years, it is foreseen that the spirit of the Antichrist will increasingly pervade more individuals, making a significant es escalation in the spiritual battle between light and darkness. Beloved and friends, this phenomenon is not merely a constitution of the age of struggle between good and evil, but represents a crucial junction in Christian, in Christian theology, as prophesied my friends in the scripture there will be notable rise in those who are influenced energized and ultimately controlled by the spirit 
of the Antichrist. Yes, my friends, this in indigenous, indigenous spirit which subsides, opposes, and denies the true nature and mission of Jesus Christ has been active since the early days of the church. Yes, as highlighted in 1 John chapter 4, verse 3, yet in these forthcoming times, it, its presence will become more pronounced and embodied individuals under its influence will exhibit a marked departure from Christian values, embracing and promoting ideologies that will stand in stark contrast to biblical teachings. My friends, they will be in the vanguard of the world that increasingly denies the incarnation of Jesus Christ and vehemently oppose his teachings. These individuals, my friends, driven this by the spirit of the Antichrist, will play a pivotal role in ushering in the physical manifestation of the Antichrist. Their alignment with his spirit, yes, appears the ground for his arrival and acceptance. They will be among the first to worship him, deceived by his charisma and false promises of peace and unity. Yes, my friends, blinded by their departure from the truth itself, they will view the Antichrist as a savior and leader failing to recognize his true nature as a man of sin, yes, and son of perdition. My friends, as described in 2 Thessalonians Bible, the chapter 23, verse 8, the rise of those individuals filled with the spirit of the Antichrist signals a profound shift in the spiritual landscape. They will not only welcome the Antichrist when he comes, my my friends but we also actively participate in his in his agenda yes the participation might manifest in various in various forms for promoting policies that contradict Christian ethics the first persecuting those who remain steadfast in their feet, the removal of Christian symbols and practices from public spaces. It is a symbolic persecutor to more profound spiritual atrocity that will accomplish the Antichrist rise rise to power in such times the role of the faithful beloved and friends will become even more crucial believers are called to remain vigilant, discerning and grounded in their feet, resisting and the, the deceit and the rule of the Antichrist spirit. The narrative of Judas is carried as recounted in Luke chapter 22 verse 3 serves as a sobering reminder today of the suspectability or even the closest follower of Jesus Christ to evil influences Judas spent time with Christ. Yes, and yet Satan entered him. Yes, my friends, I fundamentally believe that they are ministers of churches today who will encourage their congregation to take the mark of the beast if it were to come today. The reason I say this this day is because there are some churches now that literally conform to the world. What society does, the church does. What society adopts, the church and the leadership of the church adopt. Yes, my friends, what society accepts, the church and the leadership of that church accept. And the Bible warns us that we are moving towards a time where society will accept the Antichrist mark. Yes, my friends, and because society at large will accept the mark of the beast, there will be some churches and church leadership terms that will accept the mark also. And you can already see a pattern in some churches. We as believers need to wake up wake up and look at how the spirit of the Antichrist is moving in some churches today if your church attempts to state that there are multiple ways to heaven leave that church my friends if your church does not preach that Jesus Christ of the Bible leave that church 
If your church attempts to put anything above the word of God or attempts to, to discredit the Bible, leave that church. This is not a game today. This is about your soul, my friends. This is about where you will spend all of your eternity. Yes, my friends, do not go to church fueled by the Antichrist. Yes, my friends, we are encouraged today to test the spirit test the spirit today there are churches in our nations and all across the world where 100 percent of the congregants of the church are going straight to hell take it from the prophet just as surely as there is the holy spirit there is a spirit in the world called antichrist spirit yes my friends if a church is not guided and led today by the holy spirit of god it is led by the spirit of of the antichrist himself they are churches that are being overpowered by the very spirit yes the antichrist and it is not hard to see them yes churches which are no longer obeying god's word but rather they are conforming to the latest trends there are churches that preach that Jesus is not the only way. They have adopted a universal view of salvation. They have adopted that rather that Jesus Christ being the only way to God, the Father. And this is the very spirit of the Antichrist attempting to demote Jesus being the one and only way to be one of the many ways so Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 for the mysteries of iniquity do it already work only he who now let it will be let until he be taken out of the way for the mystery of the iniquity do it already work my friends his spirit is at work and even as I state this truth today I know you agree with it when the mark of the beast arrives some ministers will endorse the antichrist and his mark to the congregation you know that is that is the truth my friends over and over centuries people have used the bible and twisted scriptures in order to for them to justify or fulfill their sinful desires there isn't a doubt in mind that they will find places to quote from scriptures to support their claims and to get their congregants confused for instance my friends they will be the one world government one rule one world ruler during the reign of the antichrist the new world order that preaches the time preaches in support of the mark of the beast using a scripture like romans chapter 13 verse 12 which says that every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of god the powers that will be are ordained of god how whosoever therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinance of god and they that resisted shall receive to themselves receive damnation i am sure people will be encouraged to receive the mark of the beast using scriptural passages that are twisted and misinterpreted thus in a world that increasingly embodies the spirit of the antichrist the call for spiritual reliance and steadfastness becomes prominent prominent among these developments unfold in the world or the words of the apostle john resonate that reward urgency the spirit of the antichrist already at work in the world it is not just a distant prophecy my friends but a present reality that demands a response from every believer the coming of times the coming to times will be a deficient, deficient test of faith 
period that the choice between following Christ or succumbing to the Antichrist spirit will be determined not just this course of individual lives but the very direction of human human history yes my friends hallelujah we're gonna see that very soon praise God my friends and beloved it has been a joy and great privilege to be here this this Friday afternoon to minister the word of God those who are sick this morning I want to have a short prayer with you those who are sick in the hospitals in their homes in their beds in the hospital in the home if you have cancer you have AIDS you have COVID you have diabetes heart problem liver problem lungs problem kidney problem a blood issue a blood dialysis problem prostate cancer my friends today is your day for a miracle if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame today is your day for a miracle if you uh, if you have depression you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety God I'm gonna touch you and set your spirit free if you have a migraine headache today is your day for a miracle if you have arthritis pain in your joints your blood is messed up God I'm gonna touch you right now he's setting your blood in order those who are demon possessed I command every evil spirit to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus be healed today praise God as I sent for the anointing right now those who are listening to me from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean any part of Europe or the world today is your day for a miracle today is your day for salvation today is your day for healing right now as I sent for the anointing right now in the name of Jesus right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit whom the Son set free is free indeed you are free today go back and check with the doctors that sickness is gone that uh, that AIDS is gone that COVID is gone that diabetes is gone if you're feeling a burning in your stomach it's the work of the Holy Spirit God is burning all that cancer that part that person with the shut down kidneys God is replacing those kidneys you're too old to get a transplant in the name of Jesus beloved there's so much healing today there's so much healing write me text me call me let me know what God has done for you in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name God bless you richly I love you in the love of God do enjoy the rest of the day and season greetings to all in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen amen God loves you very much in Jesus precious name Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God.